In this uh, telephone call uh, between Prime Minister Abe and me, uh, we have uh, been discussing uh, the seriousness uh, of uh, the pandemia of uh, the corona uh, virus and most importantly the devastating effect it has uh, on so many people's uh, lives around uh, the entire globe. Uh, and uh, there we both uh, are very worried about the worldwide uh, development because in uh, the last uh, two days in particular, or three days, we have uh, seen uh, their growing numbers and rapidly growing numbers. Uh, we have uh, seen the beginning of an outbreak in particular in Africa. Uh, we have uh, seen the beginning of an outbreak also on some islands in Oceania. Uh, and uh, we have uh, seen there are rapidly growing numbers in South America and many other parts of uh, the world. There, uh, the World Health Organization uh, speaks of the acceleration of uh, the spreading of uh, the virus. Uh, so uh, we were addressing uh, this uh, situation and uh, came to uh, the conclusion uh, that in, in order to safeguard the health uh, of uh, the athletes and everybody involved in uh, the Olympic Games that uh, we have uh, to postpone the uh, Olympic and Paralympic Games uh, Tokyo uh, 2020 to uh, the year uh, 2021 uh, with the aim uh, to have it uh, there uh, at the latest in summertime 21. We are facing an unprecedented uh, challenge uh, again uh, now uh, because uh, this uh, postponement is uh, the first ever postponement of Olympic Games uh, in Olympic uh, history. And the Olympic Games are the most complex event on this planet. Uh, we have to get together 11,000 athletes uh, from 206 uh, National Olympic Committees and uh, the IOC Refugee Olympic uh, Team in one place, uh, not only uh, for uh, doing uh, sport uh, and uh, showing sporting excellence, but also living together in an Olympic uh, village, celebrating humanity uh, together. Yes, there will be Olympic Games uh, Tokyo 2020. So uh, there uh, the athletes uh, will have uh, the chance and the opportunity of uh, their life to make uh, their Olympic uh, dream uh, coming uh, true, even in these uh, uncertain uh, times. And uh, there the preparations uh, will need uh, the cooperation of uh, everybody and also the understanding in particular of uh, the athletes uh, there to come uh, together and uh, to address this uh, unprecedented uh, situation together. If we do so, if we are all standing together and uh, everybody making uh, his or her contribution, then I am really confident that at the end, these uh, Olympic Games uh, Tokyo 2020 can be the light of uh, the end of uh, this uh, dark tunnel we are all going uh, through together now and uh, we all uh, want uh, to see the Olympic flame at the end of this dark tunnel. We are showing our commitment uh, to uh, these Olympic Games uh, Tokyo uh, 2020 and uh, to uh, the success of these uh, Games and uh, also our gratitude to uh, the uh, Japanese uh, people, uh, the organizing committee, the government authorities and everybody who have uh, prepared so well these uh, Olympic Games uh, by uh, having uh, decided that the Olympic flame which arrived uh, in Japan a couple of days ago will stay in uh, Japan until the Games uh, will uh, finally uh, begin and uh, we also agreed uh, that uh, the name uh, will uh, be kept as uh, Olympic Games uh, Tokyo uh, 2020, again to show our commitment and uh, the highly symbolic meaning of these uh, Olympic uh, Games, who then hopefully can and will be at the end a celebration of humankind 
having overcome this unprecedented challenge of uh, the coronavirus. Fantastic. El primer ministro de Japón, el Shinzo Abe. 